Give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Minha é seu senhor robota. Get out! What the hell was that? What the hell is going on down there?
don't kill me, I'll let you in. Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. Wait! No! never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. dark and cold. It would consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But there wasn't one. Not for him. Not for us.
What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body, a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away? You think killing Vidic set up Sturgo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. asking for you. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. 
Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed, and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Increíble. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Lafayette promised me a fleet beyond compare and a captain without peer. Instead, I find myself greeted by one old ship and a boy in costume. I promise we are all you need, Admiral. I doubt this very much, but beggars do not choose. Mm -hmm. And the ships I require? They are yours, provided we survive this. Well, what would you have me do? Hold the bay while I engage the main fleet. Should any British ships dare approach, destroy them. They must be kept from Yorktown. 